My name is Roxana Carrare and I'm a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Medicine and Institute for Life Sciences. My research is in the causes that underlie dementia and I'm very pleased here to say that the uh, annual event for the Institute for Life Sciences is focusing on dementia that is complementary to the annual event of the South Southampton Neuroscience Group. Dementia, of course, is a national priority and in Southampton builds upon the uh, experience of uh, over a decade of work from the Southampton Neuroscience Group. Yes, so uh, I'm Diego Gomez Nicola from the Centre for Biological Sciences. I'm an MRC Research Fellow uh, in the field of Neuroimmunology. And I'm here to, as Roxana said, to introduce the uh, SONG conference. So the SONG stands for Southampton Neuroscience Group, and the Southampton Neuroscience Group is a multidisciplinary uh, group of uh, researchers that work in Southampton studying neuroscience from different perspectives, from basic neuroscience using um, system models like um, um, Drosophila or, or worms to much uh, bigger organisms like mouse to humans to psychology aspects of, of, of the function of the nervous system. And we have one conference every year. This year is about the human brain. And is, we are glad to have this conference in parallel to the conference hosted by the Institute for Life Sciences because that highlights the strength of neuroscience in Southampton. The Institute for Life Sciences, of course, uh, catalyzes interdisciplinary research. And for this year's conference, we have mathematicians and engineers and social scientists and occupational therapists that showcase their research alongside our external speakers um, that focus on the areas that uh, are not so strong in Southampton. Therefore, the discussion should be really very interesting. So our external speakers are Professor John Hardy in genetics and Nick Fox in the imaging in dementia. Um, but of course, your conference has the strength of enabling the early career researchers and PhD students to present their work in a non-threatening environment. Yes, uh, that's true. Uh, this is going to be the 12th conference of the Southampton Neuroscience Group. Every year we have a, a theme. This year is about the human brain and we have some invited uh, speakers, one coming from Brazil, Professor Susana Herculano Hosel, to talk us about uh, brain complexity across evolution. Uh, Professor Seth Grant is going to come uh, to talk about uh, the European Union Blue Brain Project, that is the biggest uh, research project in the European, in European Union at this moment. And the Southampton Neuroscience Conference is a good forum for early career researchers to showcase their research, to network with colleagues, to share uh, an experience that at the end is going to be um, uh, adding to their careers. Um, it's good that it's happening um, around the um, Institute for Life Sciences Conference that is focusing in, 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 in a particular aspect of the nervous system, that is dementia, in which Southampton has particularly um, uh, strong expertise and has been a, an expert centre for excellence in the United Kingdom for many years in the fields of neuroimmunology or in the fields of vascular biology, for example, in which Southampton could raise the flag to say that we are uh, doing uh, top research. Absolutely. So we have led research in uh, the immunological aspects of dementia and the brain in general, as well as how the uh, vascular or the factors associated specifically with the blood vessels of the brain may accelerate or the onset of dementia. Um, and we're working on preventative strategies and on identifying maybe radiological type of biomarkers that may be able to uh, assess whether a person is at risk of dementia. But of course all this would not have been possible without the vision for interdisciplinary research in Southampton and without the strength of the interdisciplinary research in the first instance that Song catalyzed for the wider neuroscience community of which dementia of course is a strength. Yeah, that's true. So this said, um, we hope you are interested in your science and if you want to hear more, we will wait you at both conferences in next September and we'd love to see you there. Thank you.